hello guys welcome back in the jmeter training session so in this video i am going to discuss about the advanced reporting part of the jmeter once we have done the jmeter test for any particular website for as part of the performance after that the jmeter is generating few reports so few reports are available in the jmeter itself that we can easily use and send out the report and we can see the results of the uh, report by report and if you want to enhance the reporting part and that that is very useful for the jmeter uh, performance testing then we have to add some external plugins to get some effective reports and the graphs so for that we need a jmeter plugin so this is the video series for the advanced reporting one by one and we are going to generate the reporting in a particular way in a very effective way and how to send the reporting part first we we will see how to add the jmeter plugin manager so before that i am going to start my jmeter so i have the three versions 3.2 5.0 and this is the latest version of the apache jmeter so for that you have to go to the bin folder in the bin folder you can start from the apache jmeter.jar file make sure this file should be available of the jar file if this file is not in this folder then the jmeter will not launch in your windows machine so to launch the jmeter from here i am going to double click on this jmeter.patch file and it will launch this jmeter for me So this is launching the jmeter okay so this is the ui of the jmeter when you first i'm going to launch the jmeter for this one so now you are you cannot see the plugin manager here the plugin manager should be come here and you can see some advanced reporting that i can discuss in the next video series and you can see some already reports available uh, few reports are already available in the jmeter like view result tree graph summary report aggregate report and some response time graph and the view results in the table and all we will discuss one by one in the next video series but we need some extra reporting part that is uh, visualize your uh, apache jmeter results in a very effective way and anyone can understand what you have done as part of the performance test to the particular website okay so for that we need some plugin manager so how to get the plugin manager because first time when you are going to start the jmeter you will not get this apache plugin manager so to get the apache plugin manager you need to download the apache plugin manager jar file so for that you go to your google and type uh, apache jmeter plugin manager download okay then you can see the install plugin manager you click on it now you can see download the plugins manager dot jar file and put it into the lib slash ext directory and then restart the jmeter so you have to click on this jar file and then it will start downloading this jar file okay then you just copy this jar file copy this jar file and put it as per the given place so put it into the lib and the ext folder so you go to your a uh, jmeter folder in the jmeter home path is this is the jmeter home path then go to your lib folder in the lib folder ext is there so you put this jar file here okay then restart your jmeter so to restart the jmeter you close this jmeter and again you go to the bin folder and again you start the jmeter so this is jmeter <coughs> ui and now you can see this plugin manager is available here and it says upgraded so you just click on this 
uh, plugin manager now you can see all the installed plugin on this jmeter already available and these are the available plugins these are the available plugins whichever plugins you want to install you just select and install to the jmeter this installation is done through the ui of the jmeter so we can see the instead of installing various plugin manually it will go for you through the nice ui okay so if you want to install any plugin that is relevant to your project and your requirement you can easily download it from here so as of now i am going to download the three graphs okay and then i am just and uh, these are the graphs okay these are the graphs i am going to add as a plugin to my jmeter and then after that i we will discuss about these graphs how to generate and what are all these things and just select the plugin whichever you want to install and then say apply changes and restart jmeter then it will start downloading the jmeter plugin whichever you selected so there are so many plugins available for the jmeter Okay, so to check the JMeter plugins already developed or it's integrated with this JMeter test plan, and then go to Add, and all the plugins will come under the listeners. So you can see uh, there are some plugins that are active threads over the time, response time over the time, transactions per second. So these three, JP at the red, these three are the plugins we have added into our uh, jmeter okay for the effective reporting part or, or you can see for the advanced reporting part so if you want to check you just go to this folder live folder ext folder so now you can see the jar is automatically added plugins basic and graph jar 2.0 jar is available for this one so now or Another thing is that you can download the jar file from this plugins.manager file. Okay, browse the plugins. There are so many plugins you want to download. Just download the jar files at per the version wise and you can put the jar file into this location. If your plugin manager is not working, and restart your JMeter and you will get the all the plugins. Okay. going for the advanced reporting part this is a part one and next part I am going to show how to use all these advanced reporting in the graphs and how to generate these results and what does it mean and how to understand all these reporting part so you can see this is the analysis of the reporting okay thank you very much and keep watching the next videos for the geometry free training sessions